Hey guys, what's up? Uh, this is going to be a review of the new Nokia Lumia 730 dual SIM phone. I have it over. I have it over here. This is the orange variant uh, with the glossy finish. Uh, the other colors are green, white, and black. So coming to the phone itself, you can see it's a it's almost a unibody design, but it's not. The back cover is removable, and on the right side we have the power button the volume rocker on the top we have a 3.5 mm audio jack on the bottom a micro USB connector come charging port and on the back uh, there is the speaker uh, Zeiss Optics uh, 6.7 megapixel camera LED flash and a secondary microphone so coming to the specifications of this thing, this thing is running a Qualcomm Snapdragon 400 series processor, uh, a quad-core chip clocked at 1.2 GHz, uh, coupled with 1 GB of RAM, 1 gigs of RAM. Uh, it's running a Adreno 305 graphics chip, and on the battery side, it's got a 2,200 mAh battery, and that is user replaceable. Uh, once you take the back cover off, the battery comes off. So let's go ahead and turn on turn on the screen you can either unlock it uh, through the button over here or just double tap it and you can see this is a 4.7 inch 720p OLED screen uh, this contrast ratio is just infinite on it since it's an OLED screen the screen's got Nokia clear black coating which improves sunlight readability and yeah there is Cortana on it and the front facing camera is 5 megapixel which is the selling point of this phone uh, this is the Nokia's uh, selfie phone um, that's what this uh, what they said to me to launch the front facing camera you just tap on Lumia selfie and you can see the front facing camera's quality is pretty good Anyway, I just I'll link the I'll link the photos down below in the description of this video, so you can check the quality. Anyways, coming to Cortana, she is active right now. Let's go ahead and ask her something. Hi, Cortana, how are you? Can't complain. They haven't written me a complaint line yet. So coming to the camera, the front facing camera is a 5 megapixel shooter. Uh, it's uh, as I said earlier, this is Nokia's selfie phone. So let me go ahead and launch the front facing camera. Oh yeah, you can directly launch the front facing camera by tapping on Lumia selfie. It directly opens the camera and if you want the rear camera, tap on, tap on the Lumia camera app. So let me just go ahead and launch, show you. Uh, this is a wide-angle lens, so it covers a greater distance. I'm um, sorry, uh, it covers a greater area. Area. Uh, let me show you the back camera. And surprisingly, the 6.7 megapixel camera is better than this, uh, the 12 megapixel camera on the Sony Xperia phone. Um, but yeah, this is a two-year, almost a three-year-old phone, and this is the recent phone. But yeah, just saying the camera is better on the Lumia, even though this is not a pure view camera. Anyways, um, I'll show you another application on this, the battery saver. This is a handy app. You can disable the applications. You can select the application if you want to run it in the background or not. And you can see, I don't know if you can see it or not. But it's been a day and 16 hours since I last charged it. And it's still showing estimated time remaining 5 hours. So yeah, the battery backup is pretty good on, good on this device. And I don't have anything installed right now because this phone is pretty new. But here are the Lumia camera apps. Uh, this is a dual sim phone, you can select which sim to message on. You've got full Microsoft Office on it. Let me just show you. Let's open the sample document. And yes, 
Uh, you can't edit, edit it, sorry. So, if I want to create a new document, let me show you. Yeah, and the keyboard does support swipe. Let me just quit this. And guys, if you want to know anything specific about this phone, just leave it in the comments down below and I'll be really happy to answer them. I am not familiar with Windows Phone and so that's why I don't know much about it but I just wanted to show you guys how this phone looks and for the price point you're getting this for well, the price you're getting this phone at it's a great deal. So yeah. And you can still see there's absolutely no lag. And yeah, another fe interesting feature the feature of this phone is you can move the application including system application like music videos to your SD card I've already done it let me just show you how to do it so for example if I want to move sports to the SD card just tap on move to SD card yeah you can see it's moving to SD card Yeah, it's done so you can free the internal storage right now there's 2.58 gigabytes of storage left uh, the internal storage is about 8 gig 8 gigabytes you can obviously you can add an SD card up to 128 gigabytes so that's not a problem and anyways guys if you do have any questions or anything just let me know in the comments below and and I'll be really really happy to answer them and sorry about the poor quality of this review I am I don't do product reviews and this is my first review anyways guys thanks for asking and stay tuned for more leave and as usual leave the comments down below and let me know if, if you want to know anything specific about this device thank you for watching the video out